What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be installing this 40k transmission cooler. Like I said in my other video, I have no idea how to install this. So um, I did get a lot of suggestions from you in my other video from the comment section below. And I think I have a pretty much a good idea of how to install this. So follow me through this journey of doing uh, an install without knowing what you're doing. All right, so we're going to start off by taking off our grill to get access to our mounting location. I think we're gonna mount it here in this area. Probably have to remove this thing. I don't know what this thing is for. Is this a sensor for something? Let's use our trim removal tool to remove this. And this one over here. This is a sensor for our latch here. Let's see if we necessarily have to remove this. I'm gonna try not to remove this because I know it's kind of hard to align it. Because there's so many bolts, there's three bolts, two down here. And I don't wanna have to realign this with the hood. So let's see if we can fit it in there without it. If not, then we'll just remove it and just maybe make a couple marks here and there to see exactly where it's going to be aligned all right let's do the unboxing so we have our hose which i'm pretty sure we're going to need more of i don't think that's going to be enough that's our mounting hardware instructions If you guys can see this, but there's various ways you can mount this. So as you can mount it like this, like this, and like this. So I'm gonna follow uh, JP Performance. Like I said, they're a reputable shop, and I'm gonna go ahead and mount it this way with our lines coming out from the bottom. So let's go ahead and mock it up. Let's right, see if we can do it without taking this apart. We will be able to. All right, I'm struggling a little bit here, so I went ahead and just uh, went with the marker around the areas, and I'm just gonna take these things off because. I'll try to make my life a little easier.
Alright. Now we can go ahead and kind of mount this here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bolt off here. again alright this is about the middle I'm gonna try to mount this if you guys can see it here use this mounting hole with this factory hole that's already here put this bracket from behind and same with this side put that bracket from behind and then I'll use the brackets that it came with. It came with a bracket that goes probably from here. And I'll probably try to put it here to this factory mounting location also. But I do have to notch these out here. Because it's in the way from the lines here. There you go. So I'm going to take my grinder and try to grind or cut off that part there and this part here here so you guys see what I mean I'm gonna cut this part here just to make room for the line and this part here let's move this out of the way we don't accidentally cut it this part here and this part here let's go ahead and grab our grinder All right, let's go ahead and test fit it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges now. We got everything cleared right there. We got our mounting holes here. We're gonna put a bracket from here to here. All we gotta do now is pretty much put our lines here before we mount it. I'm gonna put some self etching primer in the areas that I grind it down so there's no chances of rust. I'm gonna put my fittings on. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use any Teflon tape or not, but I am. So I went ahead and mounted it using the supply brackets here. We already had factory holes back here and down here. So I didn't have to make any additional holes. Um, I did have to make these a little bit larger to fit um, the bolt and nut that I had. Because this kit only comes with three of these for some reason. So I used it up here 
here and here so I had to use ones that I had from this kit here so there and there so this thing ain't moving anywhere it's nice and sturdy went ahead and ran this first line here I need to cut two holes here I'll drill them out to run our tubing through there kind of hold it in place and then to this transmission line here the only thing is that the supplied hose that they do give me is not enough to run two lines so I'm gonna have to go to AutoZone real quick and get another one what is this 2364 so I'll run and get another line that's long enough to reach back here but other than that we got it pretty much done right there all right I'm gonna start drilling our two holes here to run this through and then run to the store real quick to get the other one that we're gonna put here Thank you guys for letting me know that it's this line. This is the return line on my truck. So in order for me to tap into this line, I do have to take this little clip that's in here. So we got our hands on it right there. Make sure it doesn't fly. Okay. That's the little clip right there. So now that we got that clip off, we can remove this and attach it to one of our hoses here. Let's try to take this off. There we go. I'm going to put some WD-40 just so it slides a little bit. It's kind of hard to slide it through, but there we go. Alright, I think we got it right there. Now, drive our little clamp, clamp it down here at the edge. There we go. Alright, so all I did was bend this down a little bit so it's nice and secured. That way, this thing ain't moving anywhere. Up here, we're gonna go ahead and put our clip back in. So this clip is gonna go back in here. Once our clip is in, you guys are gonna need this part here. Part number is 397. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys need this. But this will allow it to attach it directly in there. And then this flared end goes over to your hose. There we go, that slides right in, good. Now we get our hose clamp, we'll clamp it down. Now we should just be able to attach this directly into here. And the clip, yeah, there we go. You can see that. Perfect. Uh, touches it directly on there. It's not coming out. No kinks. This is a nice little bend. I like the bend there. Now I'm going to turn it on and see if we have any leaks around here. But uh, we should be all set. All 
All right, guys, all our lines are done. There's no kinking. This plastic here is kind of hold it in place here. I zip tied these so there would be no kinking here and no kinking there. Went ahead and zip tied this back here. Put this back together. This is here. It's back together. Everything is put back together now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the truck on and check to make sure that there's no leaking anywhere. There shouldn't be any leaking anywhere though. After that, we have to go to the dealer to buy some automatic transmission fluid because I'm pretty sure this is gonna take maybe a quart of it here. So let's go ahead and turn it on and check for any leaks. Temp is 57 right now. So we're gonna wait till it really warms up and we'll see what it gets at. So honestly, there was nothing wrong with my uh, transmission temperature. Everything was always pretty good. It stayed below like 160. But I know the more stuff I start doing with the truck, if I start racing it, if I start using that tow hop button, and you know pressing on the gas too much and might start messing around with my transmission so i know that the number one reason that transmissions fail is because it gets too hot i want to do some preventive maintenance before it even gets to that point so i think it's a pretty good deal to buy one install it before your transmission starts going bad because honestly this truck only has 34,000 miles so my transmission is brand new I've had no issues whatsoever, like I said, but I want to make sure that it's future-proof. All right, so I only dropped a little bit of the transmission fluid. I'll go later on to the dealer to get another model just to pour some in there. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and reattach and assemble everything back up together. guys it's been a couple days now so everything's been working out real good if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section below make sure you guys cop your merch visit projectvc.com let me know if you guys want new merch this is a new design so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want this or unless we can do maybe this logo up here on the corner make sure to follow me on instagram for daily updates for everybody that's been asking i know a lot of you guys want more audio type vlogs so i did buy something for our truck if you guys follow me on instagram you guys should know already i did post it on there um but i am doing a big upgrade on my audio system my subwoofer system so stay tuned for that in the next video that's gonna be it for this video stay tuned for the next one never met a limitation hate applying my elimination gotta go to google for the information i'm a superstar so i gotta shine top dollar be the bottom line bottom feeding niggas out of line turn your heart rate to a dotted line yeah my zodiac probably dollar sign got the energy to win it my nigga i'm feeling great got a date with destiny focusing on my